Uh, week nine of the beer blogs. Time really flies. Really flies when you're having fun, eh? Hey, buddy. Uh, we would like to give a late happy B day shout out to Josef and uh, say hello to Bill and conclude the A3 family by saying hi to AT just in case you catch this one. Uh, this week we have a 22 of Dragon's Milk. This might not be a 22, it's a pint actually. Um, they don't come in bottles, or at least we didn't find any. They're very rarely brewed in bottles. Sometimes they come in fours, we heard, but they didn't have any, so we had to go with the big guy. Uh, it is brewed by New Holland, and it's kind of hard to read there, but these are actually aged in oak barrels. We learned an interesting fact today that if you let beer sit for a while, uh, it doesn't actually go bad. I mean, it can actually sit for... That guy said as much as two or three years. He said one guy had one sit for ten years. Crazy. But apparently uh, it dulls out the flavor and it, it lets them mix in a little bit. So that's kind of cool. We didn't we didn't really know that before. Um, so Dragon's Milk. We read some reviews. It's supposed to be really good. Uh, I will read you the description. Uh, it is a barrel-aged stout. A stout. With roasty malt care character intermingled with deep vanilla tones all dancing in an oak bath great description i want to take an oak bath yeah where do i take an oak bath with beer <laughs> uh anyway <clears throat> this is a high gravity lager um it says 10 percent uh i read that it could be anywhere from eight and a half to ten percent it varies by batch so what you see on the bottle is sometimes just an average. I didn't know that. Um, so what we kind of expect from this one is a lot of the darker, uh, malty, chocolatey coffee caramels. Uh, it says it has some vanilla and maybe a little bit of uh, unique taste from the, the barrel, the barrel aging. So uh, let's give it a go. Take a man for you. I will pour this one while wow, this class is monstrous. That's what she said. <laughs> um, not a lot of head, which is great. Uh, it's a very dark beer. As you can see, it's almost it's almost black. It kind of looks like a dark root beer. Kinda. So yeah. very interesting you, you can kind of smell the malty caramels a little bit there's a little bit of that hops taste up front and it kind of uh, disappears to kind of I think what is a vanilla malty flavor do you get a little bit of that the vanilla malty flavor right in the middle there vanilla caramel type of vanilla caramel type yeah this one on on impact it definitely <clears throat> kind of feels like it might be 10%, but I feel like it, it tastes pretty good. Tastes pretty good. <laughs> Smells pretty good. Cool bottle. Unique uh, creation. It's always cool. It's a winter beer. <clears throat> winter beer? Yeah. I would probably say that. Definitely. Failing. Well, it is a. Well, I said it was a stout, but. Thought it was a nail. Oh, oh well. Stout it is. Uh, yeah. So let's throw a rating on this thing. <clears throat> um, I don't know. I'm gonna say it's it's maybe a little bit better than average. I would I would probably give this a, maybe somewhere a three or a three point five. I would say it's very you get you get a, the high uh, high alcohol content up front, but it does have a lot of flavor to it and so it's kind of kind of makes up for it but it's not overly exciting 3.5 3.5 yeah any any reason reasoning no just just a little bit above average i don't a lot of people really like it it's definitely definitely has a different taste to the the little bit of the vanilla in there you kind of get that in the middle but it kind of just rushes at you up front in the beginning but um yeah, so that is Dragon's Milk, 
and that's it. Goodbye.